Hi, I'm Joyce Jackson with Laurel TV here at the fifth annual Iron Team Competition. That's where emergency response teams from across the Mid-Atlantic compete in events that will test their will, their strength, and their endurance. It's a 100% adrenaline rush that you've got to see. Hey, John. Yeah. Like a, uh, like a jerk. Pass the line, pass the line. Great job, Diaz. The obstacle course includes events like the team flip and keg throw that each competitor must perform while wearing a gas mask. And that is just the start of a grueling Good. test of endurance. From tire flips to chain pull to a clean and press and a 100-yard Zodiac boat paddle and carry. Willpower, um, stamina, stability, um, most importantly, your ability, how quick you are to recover from this exercise. It's the, it's, the, it's the key to this, is your ability to recover from exercise exercise. Or the little bit of time you have to relax while the other guys are doing that exercise. You have to be able to recover. Um, if you can't do that, you're going to be spent on the first two events. Two I thought the chain drag was pretty hard. My, my legs are pretty, screaming pretty hard on that. But these are all hard events. But once you get past, you know, the, the mental aspect of it, you can do it. I mean, it's all technique and stuff. You you take one of these stones, for example, that big stone, and you get it to here, and then you think, oh, I just can't get it up. And then you're not gonna get it up. But if you overcome your in your mind, it's up here. It's, it's every event, it's like that. But the question is, how does this translate into the officers doing a better job when responding to emergencies? Well, mostly it's about fitness being in shape. You could be on a barricaded situation for, I mean, it could go for two days, as you've seen in the news before, um, where they have to have a weapon held up high. You know, that takes a lot of strength in the upper body, fatigue. When you're doing something like this, it's just working on your fitness, your focus. Well, flipping tires is a great example. Um, when we go through a house, um, let's say we have a check on the welfare at a house which we regularly get, uh, and, you know, who knows, maybe it's a, a really crazy emergency where a house is on fire. Please respond to the houses that are on fire. Maybe, you know, there's, there's not, you know, open flame and stuff like that, and, we, and there's kids screaming underneath the bed, flip the bed, knowing that, you know, knowing body mechanics, knowing, knowing just that you're not going to stop no matter what is essential to police work. For the Laurel Special Operations Division, it takes special dedication to be a part of the Iron Team. While some of their competitors do this full time, these officers have to do this along with other hey, duties and only Steve, get a limited time hey, to train. Get, get grab, grab a handle, Steve. A handle. One, One go. two, three. Good. Okay, Steve. Good. Our team is a part-time team versus a full-time team. Most teams out here are full-time, meaning that's their primary duty assignment, whereas my team, they might be a patrol officer, a detective, they might be internal affairs, so being on the team is an addition to their other assignments. We have to complete all our positions, patrol, detective work, whatever it is, we have to do all that, and then we have to train for our SWAT team, ERT, and on top, where most of these other teams are full-time teams. But this is what they do. You know? And yeah, maybe they have a little bit better training because they have more time. But they also have more time to work out. They have more time to get fit. They have more time to get ready for all this. So us being neck and neck with them, it shows you know, just that much a little more heart, in my opinion. It's opinion-based. The two Laurel teams finished sixth and 31st among the competitors at the event. However, this competition is not just about where the team's placed, but about serving the community better. We have to. It's not that, we, that we're ordered to. We have to do this because we have to police with the community. Now. We don't police the community, we police with the community. So this shows them that we're out here staying fit for them, you know. And it shows, you know, the, the, the community that, that, we, that we're still agile. We're not those, those, those cops they see most of the time on TV, you know, we're not those. <laughs> he stacks up as many file forces as he can. But the real can. benefit comes for each community. Events like these helps these officers respond better to emergencies in your area. I'm Joyce Jackson for Laurel TV.